have global problems that have to be solved at the local and regional level. And I think the role that WEF can play, and we've already seen that uh, during this week, um, is to bring in uh, multiple stakeholders at every state, at every part of the value chain, to try to um, uh, unlock some of those solutions. So if I take uh, the example of air pollution, which is a session that I, that I uh, attended yesterday, um, we could see that we are, we are breathing all the same air, but we tend to look at these issues in silos. Uh, water stress, water management is definitely an area where Morocco having, I mean, uh, people ask me about the 1.5 degrees target. I say that we have reached that target last year. We've had the worst drought in the last 40, 40 years. Uh, we are an agricultural country that is very much focused on, on water management and, uh, and any impact on cl of climate change on our ag agriculture is, is, is actually something that is not a matter of uh, 20 years, but it's really happening today and we want to find the right solutions for that. So I think looking into uh, an integrated definition of what sustainability is, is definitely an area where, where the WEF can, can push uh, the needle on. Um, I was, last week I, was, uh, I, I took part in, uh, in a minerals forum in, in Riyadh where we talked a lot about uh, critical metals and, and my and minerals for the energy transition, it's great that, that everyone now is more aware of the tremendous uh, growth, 400% of requirements of, of lithium, for example, between now and 20, 2050. So that's, that's a great demand that has to be uh, sorted out, but it has to be sorted out sustainably. And sustainably, it doesn't only mean green, it also means no child labor, Perfect respect of human rights. Morocco was uh, was elected last week president of uh, United Nations uh, Security, uh, sorry, Human Rights Council, and that's definitely an area that we want to pursue a wider and integrated definition of sustainability.